think about Singapore, you probably think about a shining metropolis, beautifully clean city. You probably don't think about the Jurong Frog Farm, do you? Or the Royal Frog Shop. Today, we're gonna to show you a little bit of what I'll call Singapore Unexpected. So, Singapore Unexpected. We're here, out about 30 minutes from the center part of the city, and we're at a frog farm. Now, down here, you see two signs, one hour going this way that says frog feeding, and another one that says mating pond. We want this to be appropriate for children, so we're gonna show you the frog feeding, not the mating. It's an interactive experience, so you can come down and check these guys are going crazy. I don't know if they're hungry or if they're actually afraid they're gonna get eaten. I'd say a little bit of both. Check out the mound over there in the corner, if you can see that. They are piling up in the corner, which tells me they think they're basically gonna be someone's lunch or dinner. Well, you know what, after all that fun down at the, I would call it the frog pen, you gotta try some of the actual frog legs. And these are fried up. And this is my pre-lunch snack. Hmm, it's quite good. You know what they say? And they're right, it tastes like chicken. Oh, everything just tastes like chicken. Now you'll see this dessert in a lot of Chinese restaurants, and it's kind of sweet. but you probably just want to eat it. You probably don't want to know what's in it because if you find out what's in it, you're going to learn that it's made from the reproductive organ of a female frog. And that's what that stuff right there you see floating on the top, kind of clear, like a gelatinous uh, mass. That's the oviduct tube, they tell me, in the frog. Well, you know what? The last time I dissected a frog, I think I was in seventh grade. Now I'm just eating one. From the Jurong Frog Farm, I'm Mark Murphy.